the idea of having these little planter boxes came about and the idea is that you could put them on a vertical surface and they would sit um, near the same elevation they would naturally. So you can imagine at high tides, about four feet from here, they get flooded with water and the rest of the time they sit empty. And so these are like the native grasses, salt marsh grasses um, that would have existed around here. And they're doing really, really well. Uh, when we plant them, they're only, you know, they're, they're little plugs. They're only like 10 inches or something like that. So some of them are grown tremendously. And it's been great because we've been able to show that, you know, a lot of people who are used to the creek from 20, 30 years ago, is, you know, it was a dead zone. Nothing would live here, nothing would survive. So, you know, this is one example of showing that water quality is slowly improving and that things can survive. So what we want to do is do more of these along places along the shoreline. Um, these get decent light, but we're actually looking at talking to MTA of doing the site over there, that concrete wall, which gets great light, and, uh, and doing a whole series of them uh, over near that shoreline. So, but it's a, it's a sort of way to bring back some of the, some of the natural stuff in this sort of man-made um, shoreline environment.